government told scrapping intermediate as level exam will hit subjects growth in popularity, especially with girls. The government's own advisors on A-level reform have warned that scrapping the AS-level could seriously damage the uptake of mathematics. AS-level exams, taken in year 12 and worth half an A-level, are to be abolished under the government's overhaul of qualifications. The move, the most controversial in former Education Secretary Michael Gove's curriculum reforms, has been opposed by head teachers, teachers, academics leading universities and subject specialists. Now a body set up by the government to advise on the content of the new A-levels has stepped outside its remit to attack the policy, which will see the AS-level uncoupled from the A-level and turned into a stand-alone qualification. One member said the effect on further maths, in particular, could be absolutely devastating. In a letter to the Education Secretary Nicky Morgan, the A-Level Content Advisory Board, ALCAB, which is made up of academics representing leading universities, said the return to the traditional A-Level, with examinations only taken at the end of a two-year course, could threaten the recovery in numbers which this year has seen maths overtake English as the most popular A-Level for the first time. Professor Richard Craster, who is chair of the board's maths panel and professor of applied maths at Imperial College London, warned in the letter that a decrease in the uptake of A-level maths, particularly further maths, would mean that disadvantaged students had less chance of getting into the very best universities. His comments are a major embarrassment to the government, which set up the board in 2013 to guide its exam watchdog, Ofquil, on what the new curriculum should look like. The structure of the exams was outside the board's remit, but such was the strength of feeling among the panel that its serious concerns about the loss of the AS level were put in a letter to Gov which said serious damage would be done to the uptake across maths A level unless time was given for a staged approach with piloting. The letter continued, although we recognize that the government plans to move to linearity in all A level subjects, this is a serious concern for the maths community. It could well be that maths is not best served by a strictly linear syllabus. The board also criticized plans for the standalone as in further maths to be worth just 40% of an A-level in university entry requirement points, describing it as yet another serious concern. It raised fears that proposed changes to the maths GCSE could also add to the downward pressure on student uptake of A-level, particularly from the state sector. Maths A-Level has seen a major resurgence under the two-part A-Level, which will be scrapped from 2017. Numbers of students going on to study the subject beyond GCSE have risen from 52,788 in 2004, just after the introduction of the AS-Level, to 88,816 this year. The numbers taking A-level for their maths has risen by 152% over the same period. Teachers, academics and exam boards attribute much of the rise to the stepping stone effect of the AS-level. Professor Alice Rogers, a member of Alcab's maths panel and a professor in theoretical physics at King's College London, said that scrapping the AS would deter girls from taking maths. Uptake is a big concern, she said. The AS allows students to dip their toe in the water rather than plunging straight into A level. I think the risk will, in particular, bear down heavily on girls' choices, and there is already a concern about the proportion of girls who take A level maths. Girls are less inclined to take risks and often have more choice at A level because they have a bigger spread of good GCSEs. Another panel member, who wanted to remain anonymous, warned of the absolutely devastating impact on further maths. Many pupils do not know exactly what they want to do. Being able to test it out by doing an as that as value is enormously important, he said. Tristram Hunt, the shadow education secretary, who has pledged to save the current as level, said, the Tories are turning the clock back on social mobility. David Cameron's regressive policy to end the current AS-level qualification will close the window of opportunity for many young people wanting to go to university. We need more young people pursuing the study of mathematics, but this policy is going to make that less likely.
This is damaging both the life chances of young people and our future economic competitiveness as a nation. The Department for Education was approached but would not comment on the development.